We have so much to talk about as two moms coming to you today talking about our kids and what is going on at our local schools. It was a very chaotic morning for parents not only in Blythewood but all across the state when parents and students heard that there were gunshots fired on campus, but that is not the truth. It's not it's not true. None of this was true. And we're going to have tough conversations about what happened again, not just in Richland County, but across the state. Initially, the first call happened just after 1030 this morning. The Richland County Sheriff's Office says they got a report that someone had been shot inside Blythewood High School. Obviously, they acted immediately, and Sheriff Leon Lott says the school staff, police officers, they handled the situation exactly how they should have springing into action. Here's more of what he had to say. It was um, an exercise. It was a practice and we saw how we would respond if we ever did have an active shooter in one of our schools. That's one thing that all our school districts, particularly school district two, has prided herself on is working with us, going through these drills, also getting training, active shooter training for their staff. Uh, today it paid off and where no one was hurt because we saw how everybody responded. And so I applaud the students at Blythewood High School. I applaud the staff, the teachers, Everybody there just did exactly what they have been trained to do. So scary for everybody involved. And when a situation like this happens, even if it does turn out to be a hoax, to be fake, it's a given that parents are still shaking literally in their shoes, still have questions and still want answers. News 19's Rachel Ripp tells us how parents were reacting to all this information as it came in quickly today. Rachel. Here at Blythewood High School, this is the line of cars filled with parents waiting to be reunited with their students after a TikTok hoax shut down the school. Fear, confusion, phone calls, and hours of waiting. This is what nearly every parent, grandparent, and sibling of a Blythewood High School student experienced Wednesday. Things are different now, times are changing. I hope that with this, what has happened at this school, we get some type of, um, number one, better communication with the parents, number two, some better security for the kids. Alexis Griffin showed up to the IGA on Blythewood Road, where a reunification site was initially set up. She tells me she called her daughter after hearing students were being moved to the high school stadium. I pray for her mental, I pray for her safety now. Um, I've always done so, but I will do extra hard because, you know, we're in trying times right now. So I just want to console my child and just, you know, talk to her as best I can. David Wishart, also in the IGA parking lot and parent of a junior at Blythewood High School, says his mind immediately went to the worst case scenario. Fear. Um, my oldest daughter called and told me basically what was going on and all I had thoughts of was what was going on in Texas and the incompetence of the police people out there and I was hoping ours wouldn't be the same. Immediately your heart drops because uh, I mean you, you feel helpless. Uh, your kid is here and you know you see your kids school and you know there's some people out here that's not not living right. That's how I look at it. But after law enforcement explained it was all a hoax Parents were thankful, breathing sighs of relief. A lot of range of emotions uh, really quickly, but, um, but, I'm, but I'm glad everything's okay. Now, as for the school day tomorrow, some parents I spoke with say they might not be ready to bring their kids back to this school facility tomorrow. Reporting in Blythewood, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX.